That was weird. Alright, I think we're back. The game, the OBS like crashed. I don't know what happened with that. Alright, let's uh... Keep doing what you're doing. You guys might have missed the yak conversation, but it's okay, I think. Let me make sure everything else is okay. Bitray looks fine. Stream seems to be running fine. I'm running in circles. Everything is okay. Alright. I think. Yeah. Alright. Alright, what were we doing? We were going over here to the ex exclamation points. Just in case, I'm gonna do a quick save. We can't save, yeah, we can't hard save. So let's do, oh, can we, can we not do a quick save right here? No? Okay. Oh, there's probably a save point here. Let's go, let's go to the save point real quick. Actually, let's create a new save just in case something happens with the recording. Alright, let's go talk to these people. Let me get this straight, Alpha Area. You want to form an alliance with my Gamma Area to bring down the Betas? Correct. It's the classic strategy. Ally with a distant state and strike a neighboring one. What is this? A council of war? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is that it? Indeed. If your alpha forces and my gamma forces work together, beta area is done for. <laughs> I like it. You've got yourself an alliance alpha area. Excellent. We shall be victorious in this year's Hell of Ease Grand Snowball Fight. Let us toast to our victory. This isn't a snowball fight. It's a snowball war. <laughs> Fools! I was the one who engineered their alliance. Once they eliminate Beta Area, the Alpha and Gamma forces will launch a full scale. This is a very intense snowball fight, apparently. Exhausted, the victor won't be prepared when my Delta army sweeps down upon them. They have sealed their own doom. These kids really fight dirty. All fair in snow and war. Okay. Let me see something real quick. Hmm. Alright, I don't know what happened with OBS there. That was weird. It like crashed, so I, I guess I re. So the, the, we should have the stream split up into two parts now. It's okay though. Ooh, this cold is beyond ordinary. Well, Halavis is a northern country, but still, it wasn't this cold when I was a kid. The cold snow and ice were never this bad. I know it for a fact. It's that, what do they call it again? Uh, global cooling? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> global cooling. The Abby says the world's getting colder. Thanks to all this cold, I need more warm clothing. Worse, I have to shovel snow and chop firewood all day. Ugh. Who's responsible for this global cooling? Let me at him. Well, don't look at me. It's not my fault. All right, one more conversation to have in town. Did you hear? That navigator for the shipping guild, Dial. He turned oh, into a demon. Oh, okay. He supposedly killed and ate his crewmates. Oh then shit. Ran off. <laughs> demon blight in Helavis? What do we do? No need to worry. Lady Teresa is already dealing with it. She'll hunt down that Dial character in no time. They say that once you change, you can never turn back into a human. Is killing him our only option? Killing him would be a mercy. Demons are just monsters who've lost their humanity. Yeah, you're right. Things like that aren't human anymore. Not, Not necessarily human. true. They are partially human in this case, at least. Uh, so I think, can we not go this way over here right now? No, it's red. Okay. So we're going to go back this way then. So we're going to go hunt down Dial now. So I think we, we have to cross out in front of that big wide open area we were at, we were at before to get there. 
Oh, wait, never mind. This is back to the dock. Oh, we have to go like the secret way, maybe, to get back there. We can't um, go through the front gate, I guess. Not yet, at least. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports flamestone and sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. With pirates and bandits in ever-increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Helloviz is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. All right, so we're not going anywhere till we find Dial then. And the only way to get out of the city is to go through the back way that we came in. Which is right over here. So we're gonna go down there and we're gonna cross across the front area to that village, I believe. Uh, where is... Oh, shiny. Nutmeg. I'll take it. All right, so let's go ahead and save to this one just in case something goes wrong with the recording because of the OBS problem we just had. All right. So I think things respond then because those orbs weren't there before or I collected them either way. All right, so those didn't respond yet though. Oh, there's a, a lot of people trying to get in there now. Oh, we have a new conversation. Two demons in the cold. Oh, we can do it. Nothing but ice and snow as far as the eye can see. Are you cold? I'm fine, but I'm not the one with the exposed midriff. <laughs> Doesn't bother me either. And watch where you let your eyes wander. Hey there. Sorry. I, I meant no offense. Hmm. So you still retain feelings like shame then? Wait. You don't? Me? I've lost a lot of my human feelings. I figured that was just part of turning into a demon. I didn't know that. But deep down, I'm still the same person I always was. And I can still enjoy a good drink. I'm glad I haven't lost that, at least. If you say so. So we started to lose some of our emotions then. Um, okay, so we don't go this way. We have to go up and around then, I think. Let's go fight some things and maybe you level up. Also try out Rokuro. So I, I believe if I remember correctly, his uh combat style is more like a like a counter style. And I'm not like a huge fan of that personally. Just wait until I pull out the good stuff. That's funny they brought that up then. Um Okay, so the more souls you have, the more damage you deal. The greater chance enemies will inflict status effects. The lower the enhanced chances of inflicting status effects, enemy effects upon enemies. Okay, so more more souls isn't always good then. Oh, you can switch characters mid battle. Oh shit, cool. So was, was it L, was it LB or RB? I need to read more. Let's fight. Let's actually see if we can switch to Rogue Row here. That was the wrong button. Hold on, how do we do this here? Uh, is it... Hold on, it's uh... Oh, what the hell is it?
Huh. I don't know how to do it. Is there a button menu here somewhere? Maybe under library? Help? There we go. Battle. Okay. Um, Velvet's battle abilities. Switching the active character. So press LT or RT. The main battle menu will change the active character. During battle, you can you can press LB with the buttons to change the character immediately. I thought I did that. Okay. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. So now we're Rokuro. Yeah, see, that's a counter ability right there. I'm not good at using it, so we're gonna get back to Velvet. I wanna see what, wonder what a bug does. Armor Therize. Oh, zero impact. Oh, that's cool. Little Stabo. Big fan of Stabos. Got him. Come on, really? Alright, so we wanna go. This way, I think. But let's oh, chest over there. You'll be rushed on my way. So much damage when you do that. Hey, come here. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. <laughs> I don't know about that, but all right. Got a life bottle. Take it. All right, orc man, let's go. Big combo here. I think yeah, Velvet got that kill. Let's go. All right, so that is the correct way, I think. And he oh, it missed. Okay, oh. We're finished. I think Rokuro got him right there with some kind of a tornado attack or something. Okay, we can go up right there. I Let's have the conversation over here, I guess, first. Okay. Is there nobody to talk to here? Look, there's something growing all the way out here. That is one gutsy flower. It's a princessia. Oh, shit. That's quite an elegant name. My sister loved them. Oh shit, cutscene. I see. Thank you. And everybody's in position, I take it? Yes. Preparations are underway now. We're all looking forward to it. Not much longer. Keep up the good work. Of oh. course. They're in on it. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. Very suspicious. Is nice, Elika. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? Oh, no. I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. You're not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know. I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, there's no ranking among family. Selica, Lafayette, said, you, you're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up, Princessia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. I don't know about this guy. That snake Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what princessias signify? Betrayal. 
Oh shit. Oh. That wasn't originally what they they uh stood for, but I guess it's probably a little twisted now, right? Alright, what do we got in here? We have a cave. We have the Faldi's ruins. I don't think this is the right way. Okay, yeah, not yet. Eventually, not yet though. All right, so we're going back here and going up the side. And all of the enemies respond when you leave an area, apparently. Oh, didn't kill him. There we go. We're finished here. Come on, orc boy. Take you out real quick. They're a little tanky though. Victory is oh wait, he got the last kill? What? Alright, whatever. Oh wait, we can't go up that way. Fuck. All right, where do we go then? Oh, we're going. Oh, there's a star on the map. The. That's awkward. Wait, what the fuck? H how do we fight them? You guys come closer. All right, whatever. We have to leave then, I guess. Oh no, we can do that. So derpy. Like it's like they're like stuck on the edge of the area. I think this is where it's where it put us at. Wow, that was rough. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if it got if it kicked you guys from the stream. I don't like OBS randomly crashed and then like it like gave me a prompt and I pressed OK and then 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 it closed and the stream ended. So I don't know. We'll have it split up into like almost three hours and then like another 30, 45 minutes in the other one. So it's, it's fine, I guess. Very weird. I've like had, I've had I've had, ugh, words. I have not had OBS crash in a very long time. So I don't know what happened. We are oh fire. Oh, doesn't matter. Come on, really. I think that dropped an item for us. Uh did it? No. No, it didn't. Hold on. Is it for for uh Rokuro? Oh, here's a fire ring on. Amber boots. We can leave those on him for now. Oh, and then dilt okay. What do we got here? We got a chamomile. I heard that increases focus by two. So we're gonna give that to Velvet because, you know. So I feel like what you're probably supposed to do is save those up and then use them later. Uh, once you know who you want to use in your main party, maybe. But we're not gonna do that. All right, this should be the village we're looking for. Oh, boss fight. Thank goodness I was here. Might be actually. But any further attacks and an exorcist. Was that Dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. 
It's a heartless decision, I know. But it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Okay. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. What? Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine. You can tell me. I'll keep it a secret. I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. Well, we know where Dial's at now. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, all right? Got it. That's a promise. A cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, the folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> hmm. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Huh? So she lost her sense of taste. That, that goes back to the conversation they had earlier where... We learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. That goes back to the conversation earlier where they were, where, where uh, she was at, where her and Rokuro were talking about um, when you became a demon, you lose parts of yourself. So she can't taste anything now. I think at some point she says she can only taste blood. Which, imagine that. Just that, like, that iron taste in your mouth all the time. That would be, that'd be rough. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. <laughs> That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Um, when the game, when the, when OBS crashed earlier, it, uh, Rokuru must have a thing for yaks because he was like losing his mind over yak fur. So that's the thing with him, I guess. That might be recurring throughout the game. All right, what does Rosemary do? Heart attack? Uh, probably velvet. This village seems much more run down than Helavis was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh yeah, that exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. When the going's tough, cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so, but it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. The true we Abbey. Livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. There you go. Now we know. All right. So is there anything else to do down here? Oops, sorry. I think we are good. 
I didn't. Did I run all the way? I think. Let's go up here real quick, actually. There might be something good. Oh, look at that. Got some saffron. Oh, and a cat's chest and a regular chest. Oh, gold chest, actually. Twin charm. Okay. So, let, let him master this one first, then we'll master this one. That cost me 15. We'll just do it. Get him. Oh, he didn't give me anything. Uncool, dude. Uncool. I'm guessing you get some sort of, like, at some point in the game, if you collect all the cats or something like that, there's probably some reward you get for that. And also probably an achievement along with it as well. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're hand-picked agents who traveled the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? Well, eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? <laughs> Just some common wisdom. All right. Oh. Wait. My granddaughter said she spoke with you. Hey, hold up. It's not like we threatened her or anything. Damn, Velvet, calm down. I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels, yes? Then take this. It's nothing fancy. But hopefully it helps. Oh shit. Cooking has been added to the menu. Try opening it now. Okay. Eating dishes restores the party's HP and provides bonus effects in the next battle. The cooking menu offers three options. Auto cook lets you choose the dish to cook automatically after battle. Cook and eat lets you merely cook one and eat a single dish. Skills let you check the cooking skills you've learned so far. So I'm, I'm guessing if you turn auto cook on, it auto buffs you then. Alright, cook and eat. So we're going to make prickle boar sausage. Someone HP, okay, so it activates when someone's HP is under 75% and recovers 20% of HP. And we need marbled pickle boar meat and nutmeg. Oh, uh, I can't change it. Oh, there we go. Nothing special. Okay, so the dish is complete. You will not benefit from its effects and the character you choose to cook the dish will receive cooking experience. Once a character earns enough cooking experience, their cooking level will go up, which will grant them additional cooking skills. Each character's cooking level is displayed on the upper right of the screen. Cool. Um, I'll need to remember to do that. Oh, auto cook. Um, eat food after battle. Each dish's effects only last for one battle. That means you won't benefit from addition any subsequent battles. Okay, so do you need to stockpile ingredients then so you can auto cook all the time then? Oh, the lower right of the screen will display the remaining times you can all you can auto cook your selected dish. Okay, cool. Ah, oh, now that hit the spot. Hey, Velvet, can I ask you a question? You can do whatever you want, but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer. So, about that whole apple thing, you can't taste anything. Not entirely. I can taste blood. Nothing else? Nothing. And I don't think I can feel full either. You don't think? You talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm sorry. Good point. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. So edgy. Um. Yeah, so I mean, she's, she's so cookie. She's considered a Therian. So she's a demon that feeds on demons. And like, that's what the red demon arm is. Like, she can absorb other demons through it. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. <laughs> That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. 
Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. Wait, really? Got such a one -track I guess that makes sense. I don't know That's if that would work, though. Demon I am. All right, this is a regular shop, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, you actually have all kinds of stuff then. Okay. Battle boot cell. Oh, you can see you mastered it there also. Um. Yeah, we probably aren't. Let's buy one apple gel so we have a flat 10. And then, um, wait, weapon dealer level one? Oh, they level up? Oh wow, there's a- oh god, this is gonna get so complicated. Not complicated, but busy, I guess is the right way to say that. Um, we can get rid of this one. Uh, we have an amber blade on right now. I'm gonna put this on next though, I think. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, I think it's doubles that I don't want to keep. Which, there really wasn't that much there. Um, because we're good with these right now. We master that. Sturdy belt's good. Amber garment's gonna get mastered next. Void ring is fine. Battle boots are good. And we're on Furious Fighter, which is also fine. And then Rokuro doesn't have anything new besides this talisman, which we'll put on later. And we could, we, we could put a different ring on him at some point, too. Um, would it make more sense? Yeah, let's put that on him. That's fine. But, uh, let me see. Hold on a second here. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through here, then. Oh, wait. Uh, where'd it go? Saffron and her increased art defense. Uh, she's a bit slow on her, so we'll put that on her. Yeah, I agree, Cookie. 4% does seem extremely random. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how the, the, uh, equipment management stuff works just yet in this game. Um, we'll, we'll have to kind of figure that out as we go along. But I think anyways, with us finding a save point here, I think I'm going to wrap up for the evening. Um, sorry about the the stream cra the uh, OBS crash. That was weird. Hopefully it didn't mess it up too bad. It seemed to come back pretty well um, once I launched it again. Um, hopefully we don't have any problems with that going forward. Like I said, it's been like a long time since that's happened. But um, uh, next stream will be on Tuesday. I think we're gonna play. We might continue the hardcore Diablo three. Let's play then. If we don't do that, I'll be playing um, Tales of Berseria. So I will see you guys then. Have a good night. Peace.